each owner of a Mercedes W123 car will definitely tell the buyer a story, by the way, absolutely reliable, about the mass protest action, which West German taxi drivers met with the news of the removal of this model from production back in 1984. The legendary reliability of this roomy car can actually be the envy of later Mercedes, quite a few, 123s, are still alive. The car is more common in the sedan version, less often, station wagon, index T. Limousines long, plus 630 millimeters, are literally units. Rare copies of a two-door coupe, index C, are owned by real connoisseurs, so they cost more than other modifications. The bodies of most Mercedes W123S are either already overcooked, or shine with holes in the floor, near the arches and cutouts of the wings, at the bottom of the doors. Engines. More than half of the 123 produced with diesel engines. Diesels are simple, reliable, and durable. The resource of a new one is up to 500,000 kilometers, and only the 200D model can be criticized. It's economical, on the highway 6 to 8L slash 100 kilometers, 2.0 liter unit is so weak, 55 horsepower, that in the summer it is prone to overheating due to driving in low gears. An unpleasant feature of diesel engines of that generation is poor starting performance in cold weather. Gasoline engines with similar reliability walked at least 200,000 kilometers. But the 2.5 liter 6 was more tenacious for 300,000 kilometers, but it was notable for its immoderate appetite, up to 17L slash 100 kilometers in the city. Caution should be taken with models marked with the E index, 230E, 280E. Today mechanical injection is reluctantly accepted for repair. All motors are demanding on the quality of the oil. Reduce pressure in the lubrication system of 2.0 and 2.3 liter gasoline engines can lead to failure of the timing chain tensioner and to a meeting of valves with pistons. Transmission. The transmission of this Mercedes is usually a four-speed manual, and the five-speed was made to order. Automatic machines, for speed and very thoughtful have basically already exhausted their resources. The weak point of the transmission is the semi-axle of the split rear axle, 1300 to 1900 UAH per piece even the original ones served about 80 to 100,000 kilometers. The aged rubber metal couplings of the transmission shaft also need to be controlled. Suspension. Soft and hardy suspension eventually requires retribution for comfort. It is not easy to dismantle its levers, but it is not cheap to purchase it. Station wagons, in the original, had an adjustable hydraulic suspension at the rear, although on many it has already been replaced with a conventional one. 